I am the chef owner of the Harvest Pop-Up, and uh, with my partner Josh, we are uh, currently running a 12-seat pop-up restaurant. Outside of Alaska, there are a lot of pop-up restaurants. It's kind of a trend, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit of a trend just because since, since people started to do it, they could see that like how cheap they could start their own thing, their own business essentially. So, but I think for Alaska, it's very, very new. And I think it, I think it's kind of exciting. And it's exciting for me too, because you know I've never done anything like this before. It's kind of a it's kind of a risky thing, you know, and you have to be really kind of sure of yourself to do a pop up. Um, you know, it's there's a, while it's not as expensive to open. A pop-up generally is a regular restaurant. It does take a bit of money to get it to go, and there's a, a large risk. There's a huge risk for Josh and myself to say, well, I think our idea is going to be popular. I think people will like what we're doing. I think people will overlook some of the shortcomings of the decor or the silverware or the plateware or the stemware that doesn't necessarily match, um, you know, and just focus on what is important, and that's the experience they're having and the food that they're eating and the drink that they're enjoying. Me and Nathan were working in the same restaurant down in LA. He threw out the idea of coming up to Alaska and uh, said, yeah, it sounds like a great idea. It was kind of a joking matter at first. And then a, a few weeks later, he's like, so what about that Alaska thing? I'm like, oh, you're serious? <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah. So, well, let's do it. I thought, you know what? This is a great opportunity. Alaska and Anchorage are, are ready to move on to that next the next thing for the, the culinary scene. And I want to be part of it. You know, it's a state that I'm from and I love. When I got off the plane, I was the only one in a jacket. I, like, I, I saw a dude uh, with, a, with board shorts and a Hawaiian shirt on with no shoes. And uh, he came off, off the plane. He's walking on ice, like walking to his car at the airport. Man, that was, uh, that was quite a trip. The experience at Harvest is, uh, compared to any other Anchorage restaurant, is a bit different. You don't necessarily know what you're going to be eating exactly when you come. We don't even know the menus two days before we're going to cook it. So we go to the markets every single day that there is a market, and we talk to as many people as we can, and we try to, you know, we ask lots of questions and see what's upcoming and what they're going to have next week and the week after, and getting inspired by what's available, and then we make our menus based around that. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, it's a gamble for us to see if people are going to come, and it's a gamble for them to see if, you know, not knowing what they're going to eat. I think the mystery is fun. So I, I, I really want um, the dining experience to remain fairly small. I really want it to be intimate. I want to be able to take the time to come out, talk to guests, clear their plates, see like if they liked it, if they didn't like it. Sometimes, you know, when you, you work in a kitchen and you're all closed off in a little box of a room in front of a stove, you forget to be, how to be a, a polite, nice human being. I measure the success of this restaurant not by how much money I make because I, for one, I don't cook in restaurants and I don't cook in general to make myself, you know, buckets of money. I think it's a really dumb way to make money because of how hard you have to work and generally how much you get paid for this. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather see someone smile from eating eating our food than me to get paid a dime. And for me, that's successful. Like I'm making uh, people happy. I'm I'm bringing positivity to Anchorage. And if I can keep that going, and you know, people want to continue to eat my food, or are continually wanting to, you know, push the culinary, you know, um, scene here in Anchorage forward, that's success.